Oh, well, welcome back. It is snooker podcast time again. We're looking at the Championship League latest action, of course, in Milton Keynes. Tuesday, September the 15th for Groups 5 and 6. Myself, Naz Premji and Ian McCulloch guiding you through. Uh, group 5, see Stephen Maguire, Louis Heathcote, Dominic Dale and Leo Fernandez uh, taking part. Group 6 is uh, Zhao Yu Long, Ricky Walden, Gerard Green and Zhao Jambo. Uh, Mac, it's been an interesting couple of days. We were very unlucky with uh, Matthew Stevens on the opening day. Of course, mm. Ryan Day making that one four seven brilliant stuff from Ryan. Yeah, and um, it has not. I suppose it's lived up to expectations the first couple of days, hasn't it? The champion. Yeah, pretty much so. Judd Trump um, obviously breezed through his group as we sort of like expected to. We did give David Lilly a shout up. At 22 to 1, but it was speculative. It was only a couple of quid bet. Uh, and like you say, it's, it's, it's lived up pretty much to form so far. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking at these next two groups uh, for Tuesday. And, and um, I don't know, the, 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 I, I can see him possibly r- running to form again. Well, let's have a look at group five, first of all, then. Stephen Maguire, Louis Heathcote, Dominic Dale, and Leo Fernandez. Now, Stephen Maguire did very well in the uh, earlier Championship League, didn't he? And uh, he was he was in good form, sort of post lockdown. Uh, so I'm yeah. assuming he's going to be very much up there in the in the betting. But where are you thinking on this one? Well, he won the Players Championship as well, didn't he? Beating his good friend Mark Allen in the final as well. Um, it's a really funny group. This Maguire is roughly around eight to fifteen, one to two, something like. That. Dominic Dale seven to two, twice ranking event winner. Louis Heathcote, 11 to 1. I'm, I'm a fan of Louis Heathcote. I don't really know him, to be honest. I've watched him play a few times. And a bit of an old stager in Leo Fernandez. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself again now, as I can't get excited about backing twos on shots over three best of four frame matches. So, so for me, you've, you've got to look elsewhere. And I think it's possibly a process of elimination here. Um, I don't think Leo Fernandez is strong enough to win a group like that. Uh, he's in courtesy of, of a top-up system from, from, the, from the Q school. Um, so, for me, it's between Louis Heathcote and Dominic Dale. Louis Heathcote Dale's 7-2. to two. And, and I'm going to slightly edge with Louis Heathcote simply because he's young and he's raw. Dominic Dale's been around the block, turned professional in 1992, the same as me. And he's been a professional for nearly 30 years. You know, that's, that's some, some mileage under his, under his boots there. Uh, so, as I say, twice ranking event winner, 97 Grand Prix, 2007 Shanghai Masters, I think it was. Um, and, and, being, and being a good player in his day, but he's 49 years old now and he's not as good as what he was. So, that's why I'm just going to edge with Louis Heathcote at 11 to 2, just because he's young and he's keen. Decent Small price that as well. Decent price, 11 to 2 for Louis Heathcote for group number five. Now, group six, you know. Yeah, avid snooker fans will know about uh, the, the two Far Eastern players in Zhao Yulong and Zhao Jambo. You've got Ricky Walden and Gerard Green. I mean, Gerard Green's been around the block a few times. Ricky yeah. Walden's been on the circuit for, for many a year. At what yeah. is it in Group 6? If Ricky Walden plays, I think he wins this group. Um, I, I think he's he, he's too strong for the other four players, but he's had a lot of problems with his back in the last few years, and that's why Ricky's dropped down the rankings quite a lot. He's down to about he's outside the top thirty-two now, and for a player of his class, really now it's, it, it's unheard of. He's a far better player than his ranking, but he, it's it's the health problems that's causing him the issues. Um, Zhu Zhao Yu Long, sorry, he's I'm I'm a, I'm a big fan of of, his, of Zhu. I keep pronouncing his name wrong. Zhu Zhu Zhao Zhu Long Yu Long. Uh, he's a very, very, very good player, but he's a little bit too inconsistent for me. Jerry Green, another one being around the block, turned professionally in 92 with me. Jerry's been around a hell of a, you know, nearly 30 years again. And, and he's probably past his best. And I don't really know a great deal about Jean, Jambo. I know he's a good player, but he's not 20 to 1 because he's the favourite of the group. So for me, it's a toss up between Zhu Yu Long at 7 to 5 and Ricky Walden at 6 to 4. Not massive prices, but I'm going to edge Ricky, I think. I think I'm just going to side with Ricky simply because I think he's got a better match game than Zhu Yu Long and he's better under pressure than Zhu Yu Long. It's a really, really tough group to pick from that, to be honest. You've, you've got, with the exception of Jambo, I wouldn't be surprised if Jerry Green won the group, but it, 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 the, the, 
it's a real, it's, it's most awkward group I've seen so far, to be honest. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pluck with Ricky at six to four. Ricky Walden at six to four for that group. Now, Mac, correct me if I'm wrong. If this was, let's say, we go back 18 months, 24 months, when Ricky Walden's not got his injury problems, mm. he would be twos on or something like that. Uh, he? Yeah, he would. He wouldn't be. He wouldn't be a million miles off that, Naz. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, that, I'm that's not the thing. Being unkind to the other three there. No, Ricky, no, no, not, 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 not a, no. You're not being unkind. You're, you're not being unkind to Ricky. It's absolutely right. He would be twos on. And the problem is with reoccurring injuries, it's, as the word suggests, they reoccur now. And, and, and you know, I, I speak to Ricky regularly. I, I know he's had one or two problems over a lot. That all started by picking his son up, believe it or not, uh, about, about 18 months ago. Uh, just picking his son up off the floor, and that was it started. Um, I like most of these complaints, too. it's always something silly that triggers them. Uh, and like you say, if, if Ricky plays, like I say, if two, two years ago he'd have been twos on to win this group, He's six to four. If he plays, he's head and shoulders above the other three in the group. Six to four then for Ricky Walden. And we're going 11 to two for Louis Heathcote. Those are the selections for groups five and six. Uh, myself and Ian will be back with more snooker chat. Remember, very small stakes play. Please do gamble responsibly. And we'll continue our uh, look ahead to all of the action in the Championship League. But uh, have a look at those two then. Ricky Walden, six to four. And a reminder, Louis Heathcote is around the 11 to 2 mark.